Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Vault White Extreme Lock. Here we are at the Pokemon League. Last time I went to Anvil Town, and we got some setup. Well, we got our team ready for the Pokemon League. Now, I have Charles in the team still because, well, I needed to fly here. Now, I do some off screen training. Like, a lot of grinding, because I think the Elite Four, at least, I, I know N and Getsis are going to be really tough. I'm fairly certain the Elite Four are definitely going to be really tough, but level-wise, I want it to be ready for N and Getsis. Now, I also trained Lorne, just in case something happens to her team. Not quite as much, because they're, like, in the 80s. Lorne's at, like, 75. Like, I wanted them to be around 82, 83-ish. I mean, Angel's at 85 and all, but that's, that's that. I'm pretty sure that they're going to be in that... The Elite Four is probably going to be in the mid-70s, I would guess, which would probably make N and Getsis in the 80s. I'm just guessing. I, I honestly, I, I don't know. So, let's put Lila in the team in place of Charles. So, thank you, Charles. You've been so helpful. You have no idea. Now, before we actually do go against the Elite Four, one more thing. We have money. So, let's get some full restores. I think I bought like two of them off screen, but still. We got full restores now. The Pokemon League is a place where you both pursue strength and express it. The way you express it is simple. You just have to beat the Elite Four and the Champion. You can start your challenge by battling any of the Elite Four, and if you defeat them all, you can challenge the Champion. However, I warn you. Once you start your challenge, there's no turning back. You must keep battling until you defeat them all. Or are defeated yourself. Do you want to go in? Yes, we do. And proceed. Now, far full restores go. We have six Pokemon. We'll have time between four battle. We'll have four different times to do it. So all we need is basically, we don't need more than 24 full restores. We should be okay. Because I don't think we have time. I think they actually heal us between N and gets us. Alright, so here we are inside the Elite Four Quarters, I suppose. Let's do this. So who is the first challenge? Well, the first challenge we will be taking is... Uh, huh. Creepy. Okay, so here we go, here is Chantal. Wow, okay, this is... Uh, uh, this is kind of creepy, and there's no turning back, we can't get out of here, so... We have no choice, but... To, can we see what she's writing? No, we can't, okay. That's a shame. So let's take on the first member of the Elite Four. Eyes brimming with dark flame, this man rejected everything other than himself, in order to bring about one singular justice. That's part of the novel I'm writing. I was inspired by the challenger who was just here, and somehow I got a little sad. Excuse me, you're a challenger, right? I'm the Elite Four's ghost-type Pokemon user, Chantal, and I shall be your opponent. So here we go against the first member of the Elite Four of the Unova region, the ghost-type trainer, Chantal. Who knows, maybe she'll be inspired and write a story about us. Okay, she, so she is leading off with Drift Blim. That kind of scares me. Um, I can go for a Sucker Punch, which would be super effective, but I think I'm actually going to go for a Heat Crash just in case, because I know Drift Blims. I don't know if Rayana would do th um, did this or not, but I know Drift Blims like to carry Stockpile. I don't know if this thing actually was going to do that. Does it have Aftermath? No, it does not! Okay, and Angel grew to level 86. Nice job, Angel. Now, next up is Golurk. I don't want Angel out. I don't think Angel wants to take an Earthquake, so I'm gonna go into Dawn. Alright, so... Alright, so you're sending out Golurk. That is fine with me. Let's just go for a Giga Drain. You know what? I should probably give Dawn... Am I better off with Dawn having the Miracle Seed or the Expert Belt? I probably should have gone for the Expert Belt just in case so I ever have to go for a Surf. But you know what? For now, we're okay. So, Dawn Girl level 84. Nice, Chandelure. Yeah, this is where... 
All right, Dawn, you're staying in. See what you can do. Because you're only going to take neutral damage to fire. You're going to outspeed. Can you, can you Oko this thing? Come on, Dawn. Yes, okay, no extra spell required. Chandelure is down. I mean, for the Elite Four, I feel like we're a little bit overleveled. Um, which means I might have actually messed up. Let's go into Angel. Now to Frost Blast. I'm a little worried that it's going to go for our Destiny Bond. That really scares me. Like, really scares me. Okay, you went for a Thunderbolt. Don't para, please. Please don't para. Okay, good. Alright, you crash. Unless you're sashed, you're not living. Get out. Get out. Okay. So Frostlass is down. Next up is Jellicent. Alright, let's go back into Dawn. Because Dawn can at least... I can go into Cordelia, of course, but Dawn has recovery. Which is the, mo which is the main reason why she is just so powerful. Plus, she's Water Grass, which is just an awesome typing. So, let's go for that Giga Drain. And, is that enough to take on Jellicent? I know Jellicent is kind of, does have some like, decent defense. No, it All right, Curse Body, you're going to disable Giga Drain, but that is fine, because Jellicent is down. Next up is Miss Magic, so I wouldn't keep Dawn in for that anyway. No, let's go into, let's go into Wesley. Okay, so, Wesley, you can just crunch this thing, right? Intimidate, I don't think the intimidate really matters too much. I think this is the beginning of my final chapter. Okay, so here we go. Go for the crunch. It's gonna be super effective. Is it enough to take on Miss Magius? Yes, it is. Miss Magius is down. One hit KO. Wesley for the win. And Wesley go to level 83. And with that, we have defeated Elite Four Chantal. Wow, I'm dumbstruck. I know a lot of words. I'm having trouble thinking of them. Perhaps it's the feeling I'm having right now. So let me say my feeling is you're a strong trainer or something like that. I don't know. I went by too quickly. Sorry. First, I must apologize to my Pokemon. I'm really sorry you had a bad experience because of me. Oh, it's not your fault. This is how battles are always are. Even in light of that, I'm still one of the Elite Four. Person who works with Pokemon has a, po a story to tell. I found that stories where people and Pokemon help each other out are far more interesting than stories about only people and or only Pokemon. Ah. Inspirational, I suppose, in a way. You know what? I think we have time to battle. I could separate the Elite Four battles into different episodes, which I definitely am considering. Well, was considering, but you know what? It's only been eight minutes. Let's go against the next member. Let's do this. So we're just, I guess, just going up this platform. It's gonna take a little few, I guess it'll take a good minute or so to, or a good half a minute to just go up this platform. But there's no turning back. None at all. So, for Grimsley, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I think I should I should probably heal up Angel a little bit, because we can. I'm going to give him fresh water. Alright. Let's see what we can do, because he does have Brick Break, which is pretty good against, um, against Dark. So, all things considered, Angel is really good for three quarters of the Elite Four. Which is really cool, considering it's our starter. Let's do this. Man, oh man. What is going on today? Challengers come in one right after another. Well, no matter. I am Grimsley of the Elite Four, and I will fulfill my duty to be your opponent. So here we go against the second member of the Elite Four of the Unova region, the Dark-type user, Grimsley. So Grimsley is leading off with the Absol. So for that, let's just go for a Brick Break, because we have Brick Break, so it's super effective. I don't think Absol wants to take a Brick Break. No, it does not. Okay, Absol is down. So much better than Arm Thrust. All right, Sharpedo. I don't want Angel facing Sharpedo. I'm going to go into Dawn, because it's by 
Sharpedo might actually outspeed. So we have recovery. We know Sharpedo was pretty fast. It probably has speed boost. So might even protect just to. Okay, it is going to outspeed. It's going to go for that crunch. That's fine with me. I'm going to lower my defense, but I'm okay with that because unless you can Oko me next turn, oh, unless you can Oko me next turn, I'm fine. Oh, you're sashed. Ah. Okay. Okay, I see how you play this. I see how you play this game. Now let's go for another Giga Drain. He's gonna use a full restore anyway. So that'll give us the free KO because you don't have a Sash now. Sashing a Pokemon then using a full restore on it is just pointless. It makes absolutely no sense. Because, in all fairness, it was already KO'd, well, O code. Obviously, it can be a O code again. Alright, Punch Crow. I think that is probably Cordelia's territory. I don't think Brick Brick would be do doing too much to that. I mean, be neutral and all, that's, that's always fair, I guess. Let's go for the. Okay, you're gonna Sucker Punch me. Wait, Cordelia, can you live a Sucker Punch? Yes, you can. Okay, go for that Discharge. Can you KO this thing? Because you're not gonna live it. The, dis the Sucker Punch is a two-hit KO, but that's fine because Discharge is a one-hit KO. So Hunch Crow is down. Next up is Houndoom. Alright, for Houndoom, I'm going to Angel. Because this way, Angel will basically resist both stabs. And I can just go for a Brick Break or an Earthquake. Hey, go for an Earthquake. In theory, Earthquake should do more anyway. So, I don't think Houndoom is living that. No way. Yeah, Houndoom is down. Get out of here. Alright, next up is Crocodile. From the dawn. We can just go for a Giga Drain. Even if this thing outspeeds us, which it might, I, I have no idea, but... Yeah, it's gonna outspeed us, but we do have recovery back, so that's fine. Wow, you're gonna get the defense drop. Wow, Grizzly's really lucky with this defense drop hack for Crunch. I don't know what it is he's doing, but... He's just good at that, I guess. Back to full health. Crocodile is down. Nice job, Dawn. Okay, next up is Bisharp, or Bisharp, whatever. Going to Angel. Angel can actually brick break this thing. This thing, I think it's, what is it? Dark Steel? So it does not want to take a brick break. This thing does not want to take a brick break. Good, good, but I will never retreat from any battle. So, let's go for a brick break. I mean, we could have gone for a heat crash. We would have probably still KO'd. But this way, I can't resist a quad effective hit. You're done. Go away. You're down. And with that, we defeated the Elite Four Grimsley. If somebody wins a battle, then... the other person has to lose. Okay. A real warrior ponders the next battle. Okay, if you say so. Whether or not you get to fight at um, you get to fight at full strength. Whether or not luck smiles on you, none of that matters. Only results matter, and a loss is a loss. See, victory shines like a bright light, and right now you and your Pokemon are shining brilliantly. Ah. Thank you for that keen inspiration. Because next time we're gonna be taking on the final two members of the Elite Four. Caitlin and Marshall. So, thank you for watching. As always, a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.